Hello YouTube, and believe it or not, I just hit the record button, I heard the first blast of the train horn. Oh well. Went to a Menards, which is a home improvement store, and picked this up just under $19, dollars 18 98 or whatever. Main USA, I'll have pictures of it. This is a boy's axe. Probably six inches long on the head, the cutting edge is about four inches with a 24 inch handle two foot handle okay now i don't know if this will show up that's how your grain's supposed to run straight up and down that way you wouldn't want it to go the other way because then it'd be like a sheet of plywood with the layers stacked then it could bend and crack uh i've been searching everything about axes i mean i'm not an expert and you're not going to be an expert by watching a lot of YouTube videos, but believe me, I watch a lot of them. Uh, this is like classic design. It's probably been around 100 years or so. Oh, I look, looked up stuff like this. Even the old True Temper stuff. So, about the same basic design. Some number stamped there. I don't know what it is. Uh, we'll take a picture of the stickers where it's made. Uh, distributed by... Ames Company out of Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. So we'll have a we'll have a fix of that. Don't you love all these stickers I get to take off with a heat gun? Okay, I had nine axes to pick from. Okay, now almost everyone this head was crooked. Almost everyone the head leaned forward too much. See the line here and compared to the handle. Almost every one of these was like this, way too much. I didn't want that. I want as straight as could be. It may look a little crooked on here, but you got to figure this has a curve, okay? So it's kind of optical illusion. So look at this part compared to the handle. Not an expert. This is all stuff I've learned. I do not like this idea. If you can see in here, they drive around a piece of pipe for a wedge. Uh, not to be a picky purist or whatever, I believe all you need in an axe is a wood wedge and put it on there correctly. Edge, so so. It's pretty even. Uh, you look at how this is tapered for splitting, it's pretty thin. Got to remember, you come down here and then you got your edge that way. Uh, a lot of like the double bit axes, this was rolled over. Well, it's not rolled over. It kind of curves over. Okay, I le learned that. This is more of a sharp, nice angle at the edge. We will measure this angle to see what it is because we are curious. This will be all filed. Like I said I'll take a close-up picture of that. Pretty nasty. You wouldn't want to go out and work with that. Uh, you could, but uh, it's really rough. It's going to be filed. I mean, it's just full of burrs and like here, it's just nasty. Okay, there you go. We're going to give you a short video on this, what it looks like now. This is the darkest one they had. I know they talk about dark wood in the center is not as strong as the outside sapwood, but anything that was light colored. That even came close to this. There was two of them that was all chipped and cracked up here where they've been beaten, thrown against each other, and really nasty looking. I mean, this was the darker one, but it had a nice pattern to it. Uh, maybe here you can show it. This is showing the layers of your grain running, like, you know, like I said, up, up and down. So when you sand through, you're going to get that circular pattern if you've ever sanded it on wood. Best one they had. So I'll take some pictures. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing me clean this up in a future video in a day or so. Uh, all the stickers off. We're going to leave the paint. We are going to put a nice edge with a file, hone it, do whatever. Uh, we'd like to save this sticker just for the fun of it. But this, like I said, it's called a boy's axe. You'll see it on one of the stickers when I take a picture. So, thanks for watching. 